name is Jay and welcome back to Blooming Reptile Sanctuary. Today we're going to be working on a bit of a botanical garden slash greenhouse slash peafowl habitat. It's going to be a bit of a walk through kind of building or well, pseudo building. It's kind of an open plan habitat where half of it is going to be a tropical greenhouse and the other half is going to be a bit more of a temperate garden. And I was quite happy when I thought of this idea really because I couldn't think of um, a clever way to kind of bring in a peafowl habitat without it just seeming like I dropped a bunch of peafowls in a cage. <laughs> and so what I did was I made a walkthrough habitat that you're going to see me build here. I wanted to also break away from all the straight lines that you've been seeing in the park so far. Almost all my paths have been following grid system and making this garden allowed me to branch away from that, have a little bit more of a curvy Kind of path system uh, with different elevations as well and allowed me to create some little streams and it's quite it's been my most fun build so far really i've really enjoyed this one and as you'll see on the screen i actually spent a lot of time just building the um the framework of the building itself before actually starting with any foliage and trust me there's a lot of foliage i use so much shrubbery in this one so many different trees. I, I'm pretty sure I've used at least half the foliage in the game in this one habitat alone. It's it's kind of crazy. But the foliage is so beautiful and I really wanted to show it off to in all its glory really. So if you're wondering where all the reptiles are considering it's episode 4 and well I've had one you know set of tortoises. It's because well birds like I said in the first episode, birds are actually reptiles, allergenetically speaking. So I decided to include all the birds we have within Planet Zoo here. But if you're interested in more conventional reptiles, they'll be coming quite soon. I am thinking of doing either the Nile Monitor or the Aldebra Giant Tortoise in the next episode. I'm quite uh, keen on the Nile Monitor because recently, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I was in the Philippines and I saw some really large Asian water monitors in the wild and I thought those were really really cool and I, I was kind of um, thinking to myself well seeing these in the wild seeing how they move and seeing what kind of um, natural structures they use gave me lots of inspiration for a habitat so in the wild I noticed uh, while one of them was just kind of walking on the beach there was another one quite close by to it and I was kind of crawling up a tree and um, I never thought these guys were much much climbers really because I've seen them in documentaries and all they seem to do is kind of bask in the sun. Uh, every time I see them um, back here in Malaysia, they, I see them running across roads occasionally just basking on a rock. Never thought of them as climbers, but it seems they are pretty decent climbers. So I think within their habitat, I'm going to try and bring in some sort of dead trees, a few more climbing materials and see whether they actually use it. I know they do climb across materials if they're not too steep, so we'll, we'll see how that works. I really love the climbing system in Planet Zoo. A lot of the animals can traverse anything that's kind of reasonably traversable by, um, you know, by just biological reasoning. And I don't know how they've implemented that gameplay-wise, but it's really impressive. It's really, really impressive just seeing how all these animals can traverse, you know, things that you've built yourself. It, it's quite incredible, really. And it's one of my favorite things about the game. Now there's not too much for me to say today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just leave you with some music. It's a bit of a longer build today, but uh, hopefully you enjoy it, and I will speak to you in the next one once again. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want more of this content. Also, if anyone has any solution to why my audio keeps having these little kind of popping sounds, I do use a pop filter, but I keep having these little kind of glitchy pop sounds. I'm not sure where they're coming from, so if, so if you've got an idea, feel free to let me know. And yeah, cool. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.